Hey guys, my name is Scopey and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove personal data or EXIF data from images in Windows. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. It won't require any extra software. Let's jump right into this. So EXIF data is personal data attached to images that you take. This can come directly from a camera, from a phone. It can include the type of camera you're using, location data, and a bunch of other things. To find this, you simply need to locate to an image wherever you have it on your computer. For example, I have mine right here. All we can do is right click, and if we come to properties, here we can get some more details about our image. If we click on details specifically, if we scroll down here, we can see our image data. We can see all the basic properties, but below this underneath camera, we can see the camera type, the camera model, and all the different settings that were set up on the camera at the time. Now, depending on the type of device you were using at the time, it can also store extra data, including location and a couple of other things that can really help someone track down where your image is from. So what we can do is actually remove some of this data to make our image a little bit safer. So we don't have to worry about sharing any of this data by accident. To remove it in Windows, is thankfully really easy. We simply click remove properties and personal information at the bottom in our details tab right here. If we click this open, we'll get this extra pop up right here. Here we can get some more details about what personal information might be here. I'll leave this link in the description down below for anyone that wants to read more. Here we can have the option to create a new copy and remove all properties available. So it will remove everything and create a copy of the image. Or if you would just like to remove it from the current image, we can simply click this here. And here we can select the data that we want to remove from it. And we can go through and select all of the different information. So depending on what you want to do here, you can do either of these options. For today's video, I'm just going to be creating a copy to remove all the different information. Click OK, and you'll see an image will be created with the name copy attached to the end with a dash in front of it. If we then go to properties of this and click on details again, we can see a lot of this extra information has been removed. It's removed the camera type. It's removed a lot of the extra information attached to the image, which is really, really nice to see. Now, one extra thing you can do with this in Windows is also do this for multiple images. So if you have multiple images, you can simply highlight and select them all. Again, we can right click, go to properties. We can select details for all of our attached images and we can remove personal information here as well. And again, we will get the same pop up where you can create a copy or affect our current image. Simply click OK once you're happy with all of your settings and we'll create a copy for all of these different images with all of our data already removed from them. So you can easily do these in batches if you're taking them directly from your phone or from your external camera, remove all the data from it. And then you don't need to worry as much when bringing it to another application, sending it to friends or even emailing it to people that all of your personal data will be removed from this. Now, there is some other advanced tools that you can use in some online applications that will help remove even more information. But I feel in most situations, the built-in Windows editor does enough. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to remove personal data or EXIF data from your images on Windows. I want to take this moment to give a huge shout out to the channel members, Sean Daly, Arbor, and Joshua Davis. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to have your name shout out in future videos or some other perks, be sure to click the join button or any video on the channel. It would really help me out. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. If you want to support me, be sure to drop a super thanks in this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.